happy Friday, guys. So I am back again today with my most popular baby, it seems. What she is, is little Miss Layla Denaya here. So today I am kind of celebrating her birthday, as you guys may have noticed if you saw the video I uploaded earlier this morning. It is the video right before this one. Um, I probably will attach at the end of this video, I will attach the little, I don't know what you call those. When you put the video at the end where you, the, you can just click it and it'll take you to that video if you didn't see it and you want to watch it. I will clip that on at the end of this video just in case you didn't see it. But it's the video right before this one. And it is sharing Layla's um, welcome home video, her homecoming video. So Layla is now three years old. She came home to me as a custom doll back in July, on July 6th of 2018. And so it is her third birthday this week, as I had mentioned earlier in the week. Um, so she has been with me for three years. I am her only mommy. She came brand new to me from Claire Taylor. Her artist and sculptor is Claire Taylor of Claire Taylor Dolls. And Layla is from the Dwayne Denia edition, Awake Babies edition. Um, normally you would just say Dwayne Awake edition. The girls were called Denia. So she is wearing her little bib that came with some of her originals which I will be sharing in this video. Um, it says deny it on here with the little rattle. That was what the originals came with for the uh, Dwayne Awake edition. The girls, anyway, I'm not sure about the boys, but the girls have Denia on everything and it says Denia and it says Clea Taylor Dolls with the rattle. And this is the lovey that she came home with. I thought it was just such a beautiful lovey. Um, the way it's made, it's really, really pretty. So I took that out. I used to have her lovey with her all the time, but then eventually I had put it with her originals. Um, normally when my babies come with originals, I kind of put the originals away every now and then I'll take them out and I might let them wear something out of it but for the most part I'll put them away and try to keep them together so anyway if you're new to my channel before I go any further please subscribe if you're not subscribed welcome to the nursery everyone and if you are already subscribed thank you for supporting my channel um, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Um, also, when I'm not on YouTube, even when I don't post videos, upload videos, I usually may change a baby or two or three and I will upload or post their photos on my Instagram. So my Instagram link is always under these videos. Any video, usually in the description, you go scroll down and you'll see my Instagram link. You click it and it'll take you over to my Instagram. And my Instagram name is the same as my channel name here, Erica's Precious Ones. So, okay, with all of that being said, um... Also, share my videos. I forgot to say that because I'm trying to get to do a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm getting close. So, is if you guys share the videos, that will help us out to get to the 2,000 subscribers faster. And then we can have that giveaway. All right. So, what I decided was to share little Miss Layla's um, welcome home video. And it was on my old channel, for those of you who watched my old channel. So I basically decided to just upload that very special day, very special homecoming, this very special baby. I wanted to upload her, you know, her homecoming video onto my new channel over here. So that's what I did. Um, I did that just to kind of remember the day and to celebrate her third year with me and also to share that with people who are subscribed to this new channel and they may not have seen that video on my old channel 
So I hope you enjoyed it, or even if you've seen it before, I hope you enjoyed seeing it again. So that's why I uploaded it here. So what I wanted to share in this video, along with my girl Layla, is her box opening goodies if i could get this big box over here um so i have put layla's homecoming gifts her originals everything she has that she came to me with in this keepsake box it is so big and i don't want to hit my baby with it but this is the box it says plant hope and it matches the colors kind of in my nursery with the greenery so that is why i got this box let's see and this is the inside if you can see it i can't even see what you guys are seeing um so it has some of her stuff in well all of the stuff that i have put aside for her in this box i'm gonna try to take a picture of it because it is like too close it's so close to the camera you can't see it but just to give you guys a little glimpse of what i have in the box as i said when i got that box i probably was going to put um like make a box for each of my babies so of course with layla being my special baby she got the first box and so i'm going to be sharing what she came home with all over again I'm going to share it. I shared it on my old channel. She has like something right here on her nose and it's bugging me and it doesn't want to come off. Sometime the blush brush, brush will get it off. Yeah, got it. Um, So I wanted to share what she came home with. I did share these things on my old channel, but since it's her birthday, I decided to share it again. So in this big pouch what do you call these bags i call them sachet bags somebody told me what they're called but of course i forgot the name but this is the big bag that clear taylor sends with the baby actually in it so the baby usually is wrapped in all of these nice plushy blankets and then she puts them in this bag um she doesn't really wrap the babies in bubble wrap she puts a bunch of blankets that she wraps them in and then she puts the whole baby in this big pretty sachet bag or whatever you want to call it bag so this is one of her plushy blankets and it also says denia with the rattle it's white trimmed in satin it is like a a velour material so she had that blanket then they come with the hospital blanket that also says clear to yellow dolls i believe she also was wrapped in that then she also had this nice plushy pink blanket that also says denia but it's in pink so you barely can see the name but it also has the rattle so she had this nice thick blanket and then on the inside, this blanket is some other, like, I think this would, this would be fleece inside of it. Now, when she first came home, I used to use all of her blankets all the time. And then eventually I decided to put them away and save them. So now I don't really use her blankets as much. Um, they just been kind of in the little bag and put away. And then before I open it. This is another of the little sachet bags. This one is smaller and it has like the smaller things in there, like the essentials and her originals. Some of them are in here. Like they come home with a glass bottle. Usually it has the, has the magic milk in there and it has the special Claire Taylor solid silicone nipple. This nipple is all, um, filled in nothing comes out of it it's totally sealed and it's easy to put in their mouth because it's filled in and it says just add water you take that off of course um usually when it's brand new it has this little liquid in the bottom you just add water and it turns to milk like this this is actually magic milk and i like the magic milk because it does kind of look like formula i need to order some of that 
So this one, I just decided to save it because I have like too many bottles out that I'm using all at once. Then she also, because Layla is a drinking wet baby, she sends them with a drinking wet bottle where they could do drinking wet feedings um, where the nipple is open for what I usually give her water. Um, and that's what's recommended to give them the still drinking water. So that's her other bottle that she gets the water from. And all of these things Claire Taylor sends home with her babies, her addition babies. Then she sends them home with these organic diapers. Um, and let me say, with the Claire Taylor addition dolls, which I didn't explain that, um, when you buy a Claire Taylor addition baby, that means that the doll was completed all by Claire Taylor from start to finish. Um, they weren't sold as blank kits at all. Claire Taylor pretty much does everything to her completed edition dolls. There's less of them in the edition, like the Dwayne Awake Babies. As far as I know, there's one, I don't know if you would call him a prototype or artist proof, but he is the Dwayne baby that the, that the family got. So he's either artist proof or a prototype. And I don't think he would be called a prototype. He might be the artist proof. And he went to the family. And then within the edition that was sold, um, it's five of them, Awake Dwayne's. And I got number four. There's only two Awake Girl Dwayne's, Layla and Monroe is the other girl. So it's just two of them. Layla is the only biracial or ethnic um. Dwayne Awake Girl, so she is what you would say is rare. Um, she's like a one of a kind. There's only one of her in the world. Um, and she looks very similar to the Dwayne baby, the, the artist proof with her eyes. She's the one in the Awake Edition that has very, like the same eyes as the artist proof, which I love the eyes. That was one of the things I fell in love with with this edition when I first saw it was the little eyes very like a lot of expression in the eyes so i love her eyes and then also clear taylor sends you with the luber gel i've pretty much used up all of this one this is the personal base lubricant she puts a little sticker on there and it says use it on the pacifiers and bottle nipples for easy insertion that way you're not rubbing the passies in the bottle nipple all on their paint and the gloss on their lips it protects their lips when you use this you can get ky there's a lot of different brands as long as it's personal lubricant jelly and it's water-based it's safe but this is the original one that layla came with so i guess i am what you would call it where you want to kind of save everything you want to you want you don't want to let go of anything um, I cannot think of the word <laughs> right now that I want to use, but I'm like, I want to hold on to all of her little keepsakes, I guess. Um, so then she came with these little ruffly socks, which I've never let her wear. They're still in the little package. Then she also has her little onesie that says Denia with the rattle. It's the one, the onesie with the flap. I like these. Um, she has worn this when she first came home, but she hasn't worn it since then. So it's still like brand new. Then this goes with the bib she's wearing. It's a little Will Beth outfit. And it's like a kind of like a christening outfit. The little shirt with the Peter Pan collar says Denia with the rattle. It's short sleeve. It buttons down the back. So that's the shirt. Then it has the little diaper cover. That's the front of it. It's just plain white. And then again on the back, it says Denia with the rattle. So all of that goes with the little bib she's wearing along with the little blanket. Like it definitely reminds me of a like a little christening outfit. So all of that goes together. And for me... I would say these are her originals. Like if I was to sell her, knock on wood, because I'm not planning to, <laughs> but you know how things go in this hobby, but I'm not planning to. But 
if I were to sell her this little outfit, I would consider to be her, you know, her originals along with the bib and the little, the onesie snap shirt. Um, you normally would send them with one of the bottles that Clear Taylor sends. And then I would send them with, you know, the bottle. If it's a drinking wet, you want to send them with the bottle that they can actually have water from. I would consider those things her originals along with, like, her blankets. And it's it's always kind of, in a way, a dispute or debate. Not a dispute, but, like, some people say like differently what they see as to be the baby's originals but i would consider all of the things with her embroidered name on it and like even though this doesn't say denia but normally claire taylor does send them with one of her receiving blankets that says claire taylor dolls i've seen some of the babies where it actually might say denia on even on the receiving blanket um but i would consider all of these things her originals um, the lovey that says Denia as well. So if I were to sell her, I would try to send her definitely with those originals. Um, anything else technically, if it's not embroidered, wouldn't really be considered an original. Even if it came in the box opening with the baby, I don't really consider it an original if it's not really embroidered with the name of the edition or the sculpt name on it. Then she came with this headband, which I definitely use that headband so much. Then there's usually something with pacifiers in it. Um, and this is one of hers that she never used because I have a lot of these already. So I just saved that one so it's still brand new. I believe she also came with this one here, the Suvi, Suvi. And then she had one of those clear white ones, which I don't have it up here because I also use that a lot. So it's not up here. But those are just some of the things she came home with. And then I'm going to show you all the extra things she came home with that probably I would send with her if I were to let her go. And guys, I'm not saying I'm letting her go. I'm just just sharing her things with you and also explaining what originals are. Because some people have messaged me and asked me, what does it mean when they say originals or the baby, does the baby come with the originals? So that's why I'm kind of explaining that. I don't know if I ever did a video on what's originals. But anything to me that's embroidered is the originals with that baby sculpt name on it. Um, then also, Claire Taylor usually gives you an envelope with the baby's paperwork in it and care instructions. So these are the silicone care instructions. I usually would send that if it came with the baby. The envelope it came in and this this is her coa she has them in like the little folder which i like um then it says certificate of authenticity and it says uh this certifies the doll pictured on this certificate is an original sculpture of clea taylor this doll was reproduced by clea taylor dolls in platinum silicone i'm putting my finger there because the baby doesn't have her diaper on in the picture, so I'm just taking a precaution to cover it. Um, she is Dwayne Denia, of number four, awake, and she was created July 2018. And then it has that little gold trinket up there with the ribbon, a pink ribbon because it's a girl. And then on the inside, she sends you a pretty glossy photo of the baby. So that is little Layla Boo. This is right after she was born. Um, Technically, as she was born that night. And actually, this is another headband she had, which I don't know if I still have this one. I probably do. But um, she was born that night. Claire Taylor gave her her first bath, rinsed her hair. She was all done. And then she sent me that picture of her and told me that my baby was all you know she was born so that picture is actually one right as she was all done with her and she was born so to speak 
And it was just such a special time for me to, to finally have her finish this baby. Um, Layla was a baby, a custom baby at the time. And she was one of the last custom additions that Clea Taylor did. And because she no longer does um, customs. That's the bib up close. So I was so blessed to get Layla, to be able to get her. I finally... You know, my dream came true. I had had other Claire Taylor dolls before I got to get Layla. Um, Gabriel was one I got before I got Layla. Definitely, he's a special baby too, my Andrew by Claire Taylor. But this baby was extra special because she is so far the one and only baby that I've gotten directly brand new from Claire Taylor. And she was a custom made just for me. And so that just makes this baby so extra special to me. It took nine months for her to be finished. It was like I was having a real baby by the time this baby was finished. If you guys were following me at that time, you know. Um, I was so excited, just overjoyed finally to get her. That's why I decided to reshare that video this morning and just uh, reminisce on that special time. And so far, like I said, she's been the only one that I've been blessed to get directly brand new from Claire Taylor. And it was just an amazing experience. Um, the box opening from T Claire Taylor is just really wonderful. The babies are just beautiful, ultra, super realistic. That's what I love about her dolls. You know, her painting, rooting, everything, just the whole package. I love you know, when you can get a fully completed Claire Taylor doll, it's a blessing. And definitely this one because she, like I said, was made, you know, custom for me. But now and before her, I buy secondary market. It's still nice if you can find a fully completed Claire Taylor doll on secondary market. And they're in pristine good condition as well. I, you know, like Gabriel, again, he's another special baby for me. But not all the time can I get them, you know, where they're all done by Claire Taylor. So I love her kits as well, where they're painted by other artists or one I've painted myself recently. But definitely, it is so special when you can get one directly from Claire Taylor, all done by her. It was an amazing experience that I will never forget. I just treasure it. I'll treasure it always. <laughs> So these are the other outfits that are included in the box opening. All oh, nice. She sends everything in plastic. Just the presentation is so nice from Claire Taylor. So now these, I would say, are not the originals. These are, to me, in my opinion, they are not the originals. Even though they were sent with her from her artist, I just would say... No, they're not part of the originals, although they were originally sent with the baby. I would say these are extras. These are gifts for the baby. And if you were to sell the baby later, you, not necessarily are you obligated to include these in the box opening. But of course, it would be up to the individual collector that's selling their baby. So, being that I never hardly use most of these, I probably would include them in Layla's box opening if I ever were to let her go. Not that I'm planning to, not for wood. Okay, so this is one. I really love this. It's a knit pink and white. I don't know how well you can see these with the glare, with the plastic. So I'll just lift it, but it's a whole knitted set with the bonnet, the hand mitts, the footed pants. It's so pretty. And every now and then I said I was going to pick something out of this stuff and let her wear it. It buttons down the back. And so far, I, I think I've only let her wear like one thing out of this stuff that she's actually put on on a video i think or for easter or something i had dressed her and it was which outfit i just seen it now where is it it was this one 
I did let her wear this like two Easter's ago, I'm thinking. And it's like a knitted gown again with the bonnet. And it's this beautiful gown that came with it with the little bonnet and the gown. Also buttons down the back. So she has worn that once. Then I had this other outfit that I don't even have out here, but I still have it. And it was a regular little baby outfit. I think it was, I can't remember what brand, but she, Layla wouldn't be able to fit it. It looked too little. So I had let another baby wear that one. So I don't have that one out here, but I did let that a baby wear that one. Cause I didn't want to just keep all this stuff and not use it. So little by little, I will let Layla wear it. Here's another one I had is Layla's. I was going to let my Alex wear it, but I haven't yet. Has the little handkerchief or burp cloth. It's a cute little dress with the little bloomers and the little shoes. Really pretty. Will Beth little dress. That's the back of it. So eventually I'm going to let her wear this. I will. And then she came home in this one. It's another knitted outfit or one piece footless little knitted outfit and it's pink. It's also by Will Beth. I notice Claire Taylor mostly buys a lot of the knitted things and the little special outfits are Will Beth outfits. Then she also will throw in a few regular outfits. Like this one is by Baby Gear, really cute. It says so sweet with the bib and the heart. And it has little cute little socks, a onesie with hearts and flowers. It's like a beigey gold color with pink. And then the little pants in there. So she does put in some little casual, regular little outfits. It has a little ruffle boom boom on there. And she also will throw in like some little carters, like this sleepers carters. That's cute. And it's pink with little um, polka dots on there. Now, again, I don't know if Layla could fit this as a newborn. She might could fit it though. It's pretty, it looks pretty roomy. So she's never worn that. Maybe I'll eventually let her wear that. And then here's another cute little one that is casual terry cloth white with a jacket. And it has a onesie under there with the stars and the moon on it. It's like the gray and the moon is kind of a beigey gold color. And then it has the little footed terry cloth pants. So that's another outfit. And like I said, there was one other outfit that I let another baby wear. And that is all of her things that she came home in, well, with. And so, I am going to try to put this on her. I don't know which one I want to put on her, actually, because this video is going to be long. Um, I don't know if I want to put her in this. She ha Also, she has worn this. I remember I did a video... I think when I showed her originals and I had put this on her. So I don't know, do I want this or the little, the little dress? I do like this too. I guess I'll come back in another video and let her wear this because this has all them tags and everything on it, which I didn't take off because it's still on the hanger. So we will come back another day and put that on her. It's definitely the right weather. It's so hot. That's a nice little thin outfit for the baby to put on. And it, it will be, you know, perfect for this hot weather. And it's pretty at the same time. And then she also, as I said the other day, came home with this Imagine brand cloth nappy. Claire Taylor usually will send them with some type of cloth nappy usually she sends them with the imagine brand or the little joeys and that is a lot of things that 
she includes into the baby's box opening and it just really like makes everything so special when you get a baby directly from Clea Taylor. Not only is the baby so beautiful and realistic and special, um, but everything that she puts into the box opening, the presentation, is just really nice. It makes the whole experience like one that you won't forget. <laughs> Especially if you're like me and you can't always afford, you know, to go that route and get a baby brand new from Claire Taylor. And every, you know once you in your life it's like a once in a lifetime if you could just do it once type of thing you're happy it's special you treasure it you don't forget it type of thing well that is me with layla because i have not gotten another baby um you know brand new directly from, from claire since i got layla so definitely layla she is just high up on my list in my nursery of babies that I've gotten that I say this is she's like my most special and that's the little tushy with the little diaper cover on I have to get some pictures of her with this I don't even know I guess I took pictures the first time I can't even remember when she wore this I probably put it on her like right after she came home so it's been like three years ago at this point so I need to put this again back on her and take some new pictures of her wearing this and get a little picture of her with this little diaper cover on. So her middle name, as I said, I kept Denia as her middle name. So it's Layla Denia. Right, Layla? So... This is, this fits her perfectly. I didn't even remember if it fit or not. That's how long ago it's been. I can't even believe I've had this baby for three years. And I still love her so much. I'm still just over the moon with this baby. She is definitely one that I would pretty much say is a forever baby. But I'd be careful to say forever very careful i don't know if i said but this bracelet came with her she usually sends them home with the bracelet also um before it was a type of gold bracelet she would send them with some type of gold bracelet now she also sends them home with like the beaded bracelets this one i had got for layla i believe or someone gave it to her I could be wrong. Somebody could have gave it to her, like one of her aunties, because I don't remember if I ordered this. It's possibly one of her aunties gave her this, but Clea Taylor also sends them home with these beaded bracelets. So that's all I'm going to put on her, guys, because the video is quite long, and I'm going to just give her where that had been at put that little headband on her little head and I don't know she could have came home with some little shoes like them little ball ballerina um crib shoes and I think I have a pair it's probably hers that maybe she's supposed to wear with this outfit I have to go look and see <laughs> can I find those to put on her feet because now she needs something on her feet with this something white so she either need white ruffle socks or them little white shoes. So she's back in, in her originals from her artist, Claire Taylor. So that is all I wanted to share in this video. There's my girl. Say hi, aunties and cousins out there and uncles. And that is her little outfit and her cute little feet. <laughs> So anyway, guys, those are the originals, in my opinion, along with the plushy blankets that say Denia on it, Clear Taylor dolls. Those are the originals. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. 
And I, I hope for many, many more happy birthdays with this baby. Thanks for all that wished her a happy birthday today. Thank you so much. See you soon.